hi welcome back to this african perspective thank you for stopping by there's a certain age group that actually like going out a lot like they like partying they love going out and then there's a certain age or a certain time where people just be like you know what like i'm done with going out i've already seen it all like it's just the same pattern everything becomes kind of boring for them and like things are just really mundane it's like mm, nothing special i already know what, what i'm gonna go and do outside it's just gonna be the same routine and that's all so um some people actually like going out a lot like it doesn't matter the age they'll do it whatsoever they love being outside they love going to the club party and stuff so these videos are just going to be a short clip like just short videos about people who really love being at home and they have gotten to a stage in their life where they're like I don't want to be out it's either they want to get a full value for their money paying for rent like they want to enjoy that rent and be at home while some people you know they really love drinking they like going out some don't want to do that i want to give a very very huge big shout out to jonathan for sending me a 50 dollar cash app thank you so much for supporting the channel i really really appreciate you please make sure you click the like button it helps with the algorithm and i appreciate that so much and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you're watching me for the very first time let's get right into it you said am i going out tonight no i'm not i'm staying in the house where i pay rent you know why because what's the point i'm gonna go to the bar and do what spend 20 bucks on a watered down drink to feel nothing be around a whole bunch of people i don't know or care about that doesn't sound like a fun time but what i will do is stay at my house where i can drink as much as i want eat as much as I want, listen to music, and fall asleep whenever I want. I don't gotta sit there 60 bucks in thinking, is my car still in the parking lot? How am I about to get home tonight? I gotta go get McDonald's. Now I'm making bad food decisions because I'm hungry and I'm turned. That don't sound like a good time. Those days are behind us. Hi. So I'm getting ready to go out with my friends again after going out with them yesterday. And I have to say this. I know that I asked for my friends to start inviting me out because this summer I wanted to be outside. And when I said it, I meant it. I, I really, really did. But Like we, 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 we all are in our late thirties. Like how are y'all throwing these back? Like these drinks and just bouncing back. Like nothing happened. My world is rocked. Like I need seven to 10 business days to recover. Y'all just keep going and going and going. And you're talking to someone and you're like, oh, we need to make plans soon. I miss you so much. And they're like, well, what are you doing tomorrow? Whoa. Whoa, slow down. What I've noticed is that I don't like making plans too far in advance because I'm worried that by the time the plan comes around, I won't want to do it anymore. So I'll change my mind. And I also don't like too short notice of plans because I don't have time to mentally prepare and like think about what I'm going to say and how I'm going to act. So I don't really know what to do about this. I'm just airing. Anybody else don't want to go no damn well? The only place I want to go is home. Like I am now at the age where if we go out one day and you suggest that we go out the next day, I will take that as a threat. Um, so I'm at the point in my adulthood where I never want to go to anything. And then once I go, it's either like a 50% chance that I enjoyed it or the whole time I wanted to go home. I know you're trying to be nice and make small talk, but you don't need to ask me what my weekend plans are because they never change. In this economy... I am a middle-aged mother of three. I just paid my mortgage. My weekend plans include staying home and getting my money's worth. Maybe my entertainment might include making it rain at the Aldi, which after I just paid my mortgage, it'll be more like a sprinkle, a drizzle, if you will. I fully intend on self-caring with a $3 sheet mask from the Walmarts while I enjoy my spotty Wi-Fi, hot water, and electricity. I'm officially at the point in life where my kids ask me, how come we never do anything fun? And I have to remind them that sleeping in a warm bed and having unlimited toilet paper sounds like a lot of fun to me. So <laughs> I'm going to start putting little wrapping paper bows on the faucet on the electric panel. 
sounds like fun to me. We're not doing anything this weekend. I honestly can't tell you the number of times people call me not fun. And it's like, I'm down to do things. I just, does it always have to be surrounded by drinking? Like that's where I'm like, mm. So like, I'll still go out. Just sometimes I don't want to like rally. Like I don't want to stay out till like 2 a.m. I'd rather just, you know, be in bed by midnight, just sip on like soda. Like that's just how I am. I also, I think this is where I feel like mentally I'm out of college because I love doing like, dinners and movie nights and just like random things i love going shopping like i value my sleep too much to be staying up till like 2 3 a.m i don't get me wrong i love hanging out with my girlfriends like i i want to go out with them it's just like i don't always want to have to feel obligated to drink i just find it very funny how if you tell someone you don't like to drink that much or you really don't drink they have to like put you down or shame you in some way like i've never had an interaction with a person that didn't make me feel like i was missing out for not wanting to drink like why I don't get it. We're Somebody who got sober during the pandemic, I can confirm that going out doesn't have the same ring to it anymore. It was a lot easier to go out when you're drunk, frankly. It's just so much easier. You go out now and you realize like how inane the conversations are, just what a waste of time it is. Like if you went out and and danced and listened to music and really like enjoyed your surroundings, that's what I want to do. But when I go out, people want to have the same conversations that they have all day long, but they're drinking. So they're having the same dull surface level conversations and just slurring their words. And that's the only difference. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Like if people want to have surface level conversations, that's fine. But I just have realized like increasingly <laughs> as an adult that getting drunk was a way for me to cope with all of that surface level stuff that I had to deal with on a daily basis and just could not tolerate as an autistic person. And then getting diagnosed with autism, like coming out of the pandemic, not that we're fully out of the pandemic, certainly not, but coming out of really difficult part of the pandemic where people were trying to assimilate back to normal life, like, and getting diagnosed with autism, it made coming back to normal life feel even more impossible and something like I didn't want to do because it's like, oh, now I understand myself a little bit better. Now I realize that a lot of the stuff I was doing before wasn't actually good for me. And I had a reason to be very distressed in certain situations. I had a reason to feel distressed about all of the small talk that I was dealing with on a daily basis and just all the dumb stuff. Listen, I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you ain't got no money, Stop going out. Stop going out. Stop going to the mall. Stop going to the club. Stop going to the bar. Because all you're doing is setting yourself back further and further from your goals. And guess what? I promise you, the club, the mall, the bar, that's still going to be there when you stack your coin up. It's okay to sit your ass down when you know your funds ain't right. Like, if you know you only got a little bit of coin, and then if you go out to one of these places, you're going to be at zero. Yeah, just don't. Don't. Don't go. Don't do it probably best to just save that little bit of coin hold on to that little bit of coin for dear life until you get some more coin and just repeat the process and watch how life just improve for you i promise i love staying at home most times but then sometimes i kind of get tired of it and then i want to go out but then if i have a friend who consistently like you always want to go out or you like the person they just want to go out like come let's go out and it's like back to back to back I wouldn't want to do that. So I get that. Like, I would not want to go like back to back. It's just like, let's do it sometimes. Then like, I, let me miss it. Let me miss outside and then be home. Cause like, yeah, let's just chill at home. While well, some people, oh my God, they literally don't want to go out every day. And I remember when I was in college, I had a lot of friends. Like it wasn't even necessarily like going out to party. They just like, like hanging out. Like, let us go visit people. Let us go walk around, take walks and stuff. And then sometimes I would do it. Like, I'll be so happy. I would be vibing. Like, let's go and do it. I will even be the one trying to like force them to do it. But then eventually, like when I get tired and exhausted, I would, I, I'm not even home like I would just make sure I turn the lights off and close the door and just sit down by myself and just enjoy my home because like the whole let's just go out all the time like some people do not get tired and I've seen those people like they are always vibrant and ready to do things and so like you guys where do you guys get or source your energy from because I cannot when I actually have a plan to make arrangements to meet up with someone like let's go out 
And then, you know, I'm already feeling like too weak and I don't want to go out. I'm still getting ready because I've already promised that I'm going. So it's just when they cancel, the joy that comes from it. And it's like, oh, yeah. Maybe personally, I'm thinking of a way to cancel. I'm thinking of ways, a method I'm going to cancel. And then you give me a way out and cancel. God, you might think I'm sad, but no, I'm celebrating and happy, ready to go and hop right back on the bed to go lay down and sleep because like man i really i really love when people cancel like that yeah so but most times again another situation is i might not be interested in going out i might not be interested in wanting to go out but then after when i push myself and make it there i'll be having the time of my life and i enjoy it. drinking alcohol it's not really my thing like that but yeah i can actually vibe and actually be crazy like someone who's drunk without even being drunk so i can have like my, my natural highness or natural drunkenness in my head it just depends on the mood and the energy of the people surrounding me you've made it to the end of this video make sure you click the like button it helps with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you're watching me for the very first time i will see you on the next one bye